Hi, uh, my name is Rick Clark. I'm a fifth generation farmer from Williamsport, Indiana. Right, planting green uh, can be very difficult if you're not familiar with um, what your the, the species of cover crop that you're planting into. So for example, if we go in and try to terminate cereal rye before anthesis mechanically, it's not going to work very well. Uh, at that point of, of anthesis or dropping its pollen, the, the protein lignin is at its highest and that's why the roller crimper can terminate it at that point. So it's things like that we have to be aware of. The first thing that needs to happen is a baseline needs to be drawn on a piece of paper, a spreadsheet, something like how many chemicals are we using, what did we use, what fertilizers did we use, how much, and once all this can be recorded and establish that baseline, then when we feel like the farm is at a, at a, at a soil health position to where we can start pulling those inputs away, we can now track that baseline compare it to what we are now currently doing. And it's not about yield here, it's about your return on investment. So now we gotta look at our inputs against our outputs and see what the difference is. Well, it's taken a long time to get to where the farm is today. Um, you need to be six, seven, eight years in before you can really start to pull some of these attributes away. And the other benefit here that I think we've, we've been able to do on our farm is by farming green, we've let these cover crops grow so much further into their life, they're doing so much more of nutrient cycling that that's why we are where we are today. If I had the ability to have a carbon calculator on our farm and calculate where we are on, on the farm, our carbon footprint as you will, my guess is we are in a negative situation. So yes, I don't know how to um, plant my corn without a tractor that's got fossil fuel in it. I don't know that yet, but to combat that or offset that, everything else we're doing of growing carbon, sequestering carbon out of the atmosphere, um, growing these cover crops far offsets what we're doing. If